Hey everyone, uh, this is a very quick video specifically for um, Alp who made a comment on my uh, Funkmeister video and I thought I would just, it was easy to make a quick video to explain where the secret compartment is um, that holds the flints on a on, on um, an Imco Funkmeister. So here we go, I'll show you. Little box here that I've made. So since my last video, a quick update on the Funkmeisters, you can see that I've uh, collected several more from flea markets. I would say this one um, specifically is probably the best one that I've found so far. And I paid a euro for this. Look at it. It's almost brand new. There's hardly any wear on it. Um, and it has, you know, all the writing and etching is really clear. It's got a really good spark on it. Oh, I'll get that. Um, the, the, the wheel on it is in almost brand new condition. The only shame was on this side, uh, the paintwork, there was a very slight bit of blemishing marking from a slight bit of rust on it, which I've cleaned off. But if it wasn't for that, this would almost be a pristine um, Funkmeister. What a shame. But I'm very, very happy with it, and particularly for that uh, crazy, crazy price. So that is a standard... Well, the, the standard type of Funkmeister that I've always come across. Um, I've also got a nice, very nice condition red one here, which again was very filthy when I bought it. Still not perfect. There's a few blemishes on it. I could probably polish those out a little bit more. I haven't really spent a lot of time on this one. Um, again. Oh, I don't think I've, has it got a flint? Oh, I don't think there's a flint in this one. I haven't really worked on polishing this one up or anything, so... No flint in that one. Again, you can see standard. So, one, number two. Um, let's see. Then we have this one here. Again, haven't really worked on polishing it up or anything. I think this one's functional. Yeah. Nice, quite a... Oh, that's good to put the spark on that one. Um, again, a little bit mucky. I've not spent any time cleaning that up at the moment. Haven't had much time to do that lately. But that will clean up. And you can see I have one that looks almost exactly the same. Same colour. I do like colours. They're cute, aren't they? Um, this one here is really, really dirty. Again, I picked this one up very, very cheaply uh, a few months ago on a flea market. It's really dirty look. Yeah, needs a good polish and a clean up. Handle's filthy. A bit grubby. Ugh. But, help, this is the difference. If you notice on this one, it has this compartment on the top. Um, unlike the other three, you see that don't have that. Oops, sorry, that way. One, two, three. This particular model of Funkmeister has this little slot on top. Now, this is quite a good example of how kind of how mucky they are when I get them or when I find them. Look at that. That is. Really gross inside there. Rusty, dirty, grubby. Um, that's mash. Well, it's pretty mucked up in there. Needs a good clean. And that is like ugh, really horrible. And I'll show you. Um, if you just oh, can I do it with my nail? One handed is a little bit rubbish because it's a little bit grubby. Let's try it with my right hand. As I said, this is a very quick ad hoc video just for help. Yep. So when you pop that up, help, you can see ugh, lots of dirt inside there. But there's a little compartment and inside there you can put your spare flints. So um, I think when one of the other people that commented on my video talked about the secret compartment, well, it's hardly a secret <laughs> hiding there on top. Um, but uh, if you manage to find one that's got that, you've got someone to carry spare flints. Um, this one, this one does spark, which is nice. Now all the mechanics work. It's just dirty and needs a really good clean. So I've got an excuse locked up at home at the moment. So at some point I'll get around to cleaning those. I've got so many other hobbies on the go at the moment. But again, that was another great Im Imco Funkmeister. Slightly different. Um, with the so-called secret compartment on the top. It's just a flint, a spare flint holder on there. Um, so I hope that uh, enlightens you, Alp, and if you come across another one, you can look out for that now. And, uh,
pleased with that one. That's great, isn't it? So I hope you enjoyed that. This is the Imco Funkmeister or Spark Sparkmaster, whatever they call that. Um, gas lighters, gas stove lighters. They're really, really cool. And a little box that I made with the kind of imprint. Photo, use photocopy of a Colts Peacemaker because I do like that one. And you can actually transfer it onto a wooden box. So that's just for a bit of fun. So Alp, I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for watching my videos. Bye.